let's talk about two data structures very important in QReader building blocks host definitions and reference sets if we go on in QReaders under offenses rules and we pivot here on building blocks and we look for example for DNS click here on the magnifying glass we're going to find this section in here which is host definitions DNS servers we'll talk about the, the the host reference later in this video as well but if you click on it you see that the the this particular building block which is a rule without an action but this particular building block points to one specific IP and actually you can click here and add subsequent uh, uh, IPs in this case and also see that ranges more on that in a minute at the conclusion of this video we also going to be talking about host reference building blocks uh, that ties the the two uh, elements together as well so if we compare them side by side the first uh, characteristics of the host definitions is that they are automatically fed let's go here into the asset by the feature of server discovery which is very appreciated in QReader in which in here if we look for example for DNS server and I created a separate video I put the link in the uh, video description here and we ask QReader based on uh, flows that has collected and also any vulnerability uh, scanner data uh, it goes and finds this uh, this element and when you select the ones that you approve and you approve them they get fed into that building block we go back to the building blocks and look into host definitions DNS server we should find all those uh, the one that we had before 127.0.0.2 and all these that we just approved right now so that's the way that you normally feed these uh, host uh, definitions building blocks reference sets are populated many ways one of them is from the well, it's very useful from the offenses if any offense when you go to the second page of the wizard there is an option here on the rule response that allows you to you see here add to reference set and even to reference maps but uh, let, let's stick to reference set here if you were to click in here you specify what is the property that you want to put it and you specify what's the name of the reference set that you want to add that add into and of course the reference sets you can see them by going into the admin into reference set and look at whichever reference set you are looking for and you get the data for example in this particular case we have also and we'll see the connection between the two a reference set called DNS server by the same name which right now has uh, nothing in it okay of course I can go into uh, here into the DNS servers manually and add whichever entry I want to add I click add and I add the entries one by one in the way I want them of course I can also manually go here into the building block host definition and add whichever IP I want but notice that I have the option to add CDAR ranges that's unique of the building block host definition you cannot add CDAR ranges on the reference set at least on, on, on the current version of Curator 7.3 also by leveraging the API many reference sets are fed by uh, using for example thread data if we if you install the thread intelligence app uh, from the app exchange in here and you define a thread feed here I have several from the X-Force but you can do it to any stick and taxi you specify here what's the reference set that you want this thread data to put the data into it 
also host definitions exist there until you delete them uh, manually. Uh, the same thing on the on the reference set, but the reference set gives you an option, which is the time to live. You can, which can be forever. But when you create a reference set, you can specify how long do I want the data from being here. If it's something that is threat intelligence that is short lived, you can have this uh, list to actually uh, prune themselves after a, a period of time. And of course, you you can also uh, delete stuff from the from from the offenses uh, as well as well as the API so and if you want to exercise the API uh, all you need to do is go into the API sections uh, I'm sure you know how to do it by now but on the admin on the admin uh, let me actually show it on the console if you go here on their uh, help IDs interactive API you go into this page and in here under 7.0 which is the current one under reference data under set if I click here just right out with any parameters I get the list of all the reference set that you saw in the admin time before and then you can you know do post and put data there and this is what the, the API that the threat intelligence app uses and many other third-party apps who feeds data into references. This is kind of a, probably the most modern and most dynamic way of adding data into Curator for, for new uh, apps. But you can use the best of both worlds and tie them together as we do with the building block host reference. Again, not host definition but host reference. If we go back to the offenses where we have all the building blocks and look again by the DNS we will see the host definitions we've been talking so far but it's also the host reference if we click on it we actually see that this structure reference that DNS service API reference set that I mentioned to you before so I hope that this gives you an idea on how to leverage on this good uh, data structure. We're going to use this in the tuning uh, videos uh, coming up soon.